or something. I mean, I'm about to run out of here. Oh crap, hold on. I might see something, hold on. All right, guys. This is military vehicle only. After long months of being here at school, I've heard this rumor that there's this abandoned baseball field on campus. For no reason, I kind of just drove around school and I finally found an abandoned baseball field. Today, we're gonna go visit that baseball field. I'm gonna take my scooter and we're gonna go and we're gonna find that baseball field once again. So as far as I know, this field wasn't like a traditional baseball field. I think it was more of like the, for people who were housed here over their time. The field is pretty run down and it looks, it's in a really cool part of campus I've never seen before. So I'm excited to share this with y'all. Yeah, we got the GoPro. We're gonna get the scooter right now and we're gonna head over there. We get a little piece of campus. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Throw you in a choke, gun smoke, gun smoke. A few moments later. Ooh. Dude, I, you can see I'm sweating like a mug. Right now we're kind of in the abandoned part of the campus. Someone tell me what this dome is right here. I don't know what this dome is like. And you can see there's some buildings back there. We're gonna, we're gonna go visit. But yeah, we're right around the corner from the field. And then we'll wrap it up, go back to campus. So we made it. There's also a basketball court attached to it, but there's the field right over here. There's some old life, stadium life. That's pretty dope. But as you get, like I said, there's a lot of military personnel over there. Walking to the basketball court right now, and it's kind of crazy to see, you know? Especially on like a college campus, you would think that maybe this stuff had been taken down, but I guess not. Maybe I'll do a, a video where I'll say, maybe I'll play a, base, a basketball game here. On an abandoned field. You guys think I could dunk this right here? Let me see here. But this is actually really cool. I kind of like this. I don't know if there's rattlesnakes or something out here. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. But look what I found. I found an old rim. We're going to put that back. I'm going to be sick in my room though. Put it up. But most of them are taken out, the rims. There's only one actually standing. This thing's really cool, guys. Guys, this field is crazy. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna try to find a way in and then we're gonna try to run the base paths as if they were base paths. I'm just not sure if like, there's like things out here, you know? Like, I don't wanna die. I heard something. I mean, I'm about to run out of here. Look at that, guys. I mean, it's all like pretty much gone. There's no saving this thing, but like these old stadium lights are pretty awesome. Trying to find where home plate is, or what it would be at. So now that I think about it, this probably could be a softball field because there is no lip where a mound would be. And that's the dugout right over there. I'm probably standing where home plate would be, I'm guessing. Maybe like right here or so. But this is really cool. Like, this is really cool if I, like if I had the means of like replenishing balls and had the money for it, I would totally do a home run derby here with Gabe or somebody else. That would be freaking awesome. Do you guys want to see that? Maybe I could do it. Let me know down. But this place is really cool. I'm gonna try to run these base paths for you guys. I have gum, so excuse that. Okay, let me let me put you guys down. I'm gonna try this. Anyway guys, uh, from what I remember seeing pictures of it, there was an old scoreboard, but I don't know if it's still there. But this is really cool. This is pretty dope. The fence looks a little farther than a regular softball field, and but it looks too short to be anything other than a softball field. Unless maybe it was like a, like a pony league uh, baseball field or something. It was actually really cool. No foul poles are left. There's kind of trees 
I may get the foul pull, that's pretty cool. But I don't see anything else. Oh crap, hold on. I might see something, hold on. Turns out it was just an old pallet. But yeah, that was a waste of a run. So I'm gonna go back to my means of transportation now and we're gonna continue with the GoPro and show you some other sites. There's a, uh, it's like a little snack bar right over here, but there's a path too. Ugh. That's the snack bar I'm talking about. I'm gonna check that out. Um, and then path that runs alongside that right there. So we're gonna go and explore that path and then we'll go back to campus. This is, this gives this abandoned place a vibe right here. This is just like hanging telephone wire. I don't know. But as you can see, the path isn't paved or is covered in whatever this is. And it doesn't start over there, so I can't ride my scooter, but we're gonna check that out too. So we're coming up on it, and I see there's a uh, a filing cabinet, filing cabinet right there. I kinda wanna check it out. Maybe there's some important documents. Who knows? All right, guys. Let's see what's in here. Oh, looks like it's flip up head upside down. Folders right here. Two thousand five, guys. Two thousand five. But there seems to be no papers in here. Nothing. Nothing. The other ones had nothing, guys. Um, there seems to be nothing in this one. And there's more like folders in here, but I don't think any of them have paper in it. So that's that's a bust. But there's this black thing. I don't know what this is. I'm scared of like a dead body's gonna pop out or like there's gonna be spiders or something. But I think this is just a table because it's not moving. I did find this though. I don't know what this is, but that's pretty cool. I don't know what this is, guys. I, I want to say this. I just kick some glass. I want to say this is a like snack bar because but there's a parking lot to it. So I can't really tell you what this is, but I just know it's actually pretty cool. There's also no door in, like inside. Like you can't get in. This is military vehicle only. Well, you can't go inside. Guys, do I go inside? Guys, look at that. I'm not going in there, it looks sketch. Lights right there. This is really cool. The door is wide open, but the floors don't look very good. So I'm not gonna go in there. But yeah, there's a trash can, I kind of like, yeah, I think I'm gonna be done with this area and then we're gonna follow that path. I don't think it takes us anywhere, but from right when we got that building that we saw, I found this. I found, I, I don't know if it's netted or not, but it's got, you know what? It has some net on it. We found this old basketball hoop right here. This is so cool. This is really cool. I'm gonna shoot a pine cone and make it. I'm gonna make it one of the first threes this this place has ever seen in a while. So I gotta find a good angle for you guys to see it. And we're on our way again. This is pretty freaking cool, guys. But yeah, we're gonna go back on the trail. And yeah, this is really cool. I, I didn't know, I never knew all this stuff was here. And I especially did not know this is here when I picked the school. So we're gonna go to over there, there's buildings behind that tree and we're gonna go see what it's all about, guys. <laughs> this is to be a loading zone because of that right there. And the door is wide open. No, never mind. it's just a freestanding door. It's just like an extra door, I guess. But there's another building right over here. It's got bars on windows, which is kind of weird. So there are abandoned tennis courts right over there and there's this long path. I don't see no trespassing sign, but I'm not gonna go past this. I don't know what I can do and cannot do around here. Everything seems pretty much boarded up and everything, but uh, yeah, so there's some abandoned buildings over there. And we got some more right here as well. 
I don't know if you can see it. There's a mural on that side of that wall. And there's a, that one all the way back there, which is pretty dope. Well, there's, there's a no trespassing on that side, on, uh, on that wall, so to the end and go in there. But there's something that says on that door I might go look at. So there is an MST sticker on it, which is, stands for the Monterey Salinas um, Transit Company. And I guess it's a property then. I don't know what they need this for, but it's pretty dope. So there's a like a mural that was on the other side. And it says keep the fire, keep up the fire. And it looks like two like dragons, I think, on it. Yeah, that's that's the same building that we looked at with the MST logo on it. We have another abandoned location right here. This would be so cool to explore. Maybe I can get permission from the school to look at it. It'd be pretty dope, but probably not. Anyways, I think I'm gonna head back to campus now. I mean, there's not much I can really do other than show you guys. So if I see another building, building, I'll keep adding it on. But I think we're just gonna enjoy the ride back to school, you know, guys? And that could just be the conclusion of the video right there. I just wanna show you something that was pretty cool that I thought I really enjoyed. So going for the journey.